Hi friends. Today we get to read a very special story called Red and Lulu. And this story is inspired by a story that happened in real life, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But this story takes place in New York. And as you can see on the cover here, this is Rockefeller Center. Do you wanna take an AR test, my friends? The code is 192212. In the front yard of a little house on the branches of a mighty evergreen, there lived a happy pair of cardinals. Red and Lulu were happy in their tree. Their nests were always safe in its branches. Its shade kept them cool on hot summer days and its evergreen needles kept them cozy. When autumn winds howled, it was the perfect place to live all year long. But their favorite time of year by far was winter. The family would decorate the tree with lights and, and sometimes people would gather near and sing, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Red and Lulu loved listening to the people sing about their tree. Sometimes they even sang along. One chilly morning, just as the cold months were starting again, Red went out to find some breakfast. Lulu stayed behind, tucked in the branches of their tree. Oh no. Looks like they're doing something to their tree. And it looks like Lulu hid inside the tree. <gasps> Looks like they're taking down their tree. When Red returned, he could not believe what he saw. Their tree had moved. It was on its side, strapped to the back of a big truck. Red could hear the sweet sound of Lulu's song coming from inside the tree, and then the truck drove away. Red chirped frantically, telling Lulu to stay right where she was, telling her that he would be right there. Oh no, there's the tree. It's going over a bridge. Here's Red trying to catch up. Red flew as far as he could for as long as he could, but the truck was just so fast. Before long, Red lost sight of the tree. Still, he kept flying, trying to catch up. Soon, he found himself in a very strange place until unlike any place he had ever seen before. For days, Red searched everywhere. He was tired and hungry. He wondered if he would ever see Lulu again. This is the Empire State Building kiddos. It is a tourist attra attraction in New York. New York is on the East Coast. It is one of the United, part of the United States, one of the states. The snow reminded him of Lulu. He missed her so much. He could almost hear the song they loved. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Wait, he could hear the song they loved. Red flew towards the sound. The voices grew louder and louder. Then he turned to the corner. Look, this is Rockefeller Center. And what tree do you think that is? Red chirped with glee and soared over the singing crowd. He flew right for their favorite branch. <gasps> Lulu! Oh, they've been reunited. Rockefeller Center. There's an ice rink in front of Rockefeller Center, kiddos. And so people will ice skate there and go visit the tree. Red and Lulu were happy in their tree and watched with pride as hundreds of thousands of people marveled at its beauty. But then one day, workers came and took their tree away again. This time, Red and Lulu stayed. They found a new place to make a home in a park surrounded by trees and grass and lots of friends. Now every year when the air turns cold, Red and Lulu take a special trip. And when the crowd comes to sing, they sit together, snuggled close on a snowy branch and listen. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Sometimes they even sing along. So they move to New York and every Christmas they go and stay in the Rockefeller tree. How darling is that? So kiddos, this story was actually based on a real event that happened last year. Last year, they went to go get the Rockefeller tree, the head gardener and his other gardener helpers. And they usually get it 
from a house because there are not a lot of trees in New York. So they have to go to somebody's yard and they ask if they can use a big tree that they might have. And last year there was an owl stuck in it and it traveled all the way back to New York. And so he got a little hurt, but then we fixed him up and he was released back into the wild. But the sweet little owl was named Rocky after Rockefeller Center. So super sweet. This story inspired was inspired by that story about Rocky, except that this is two cardinals. If you want to learn more about Rocky, I have attached a link so you guys can check that out if you'd like. But now we're going to learn a little bit more about the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Before there were even any buildings in New York City's Rockefeller Center, there was a tree. On Christmas Eve in 1931, construction workers decorated a 20-foot evergreen with whatever they could find, strings of cranberry, paper garlands, tin cans, and even foil gum wrappers. Little did they know they were starting a tradition that would last for eight decades and beyond. Now every year, the head gardener at Rockefeller Center searches far and wide for the perfect Christmas tree. The chosen tree is almost always a Norway spruce, a type of tree that is not native to the United States. So it's usually found not in the forest, but in someone's yard where it was planted decades ago. Once on its pedestal, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree stands as tall as an eight story building and it is decorated with more than 45,000 multicolored lights. The star on top weighs 550 pounds. Every year on the first Wednesday after Thanksgiving, 200,000 people pack into Rockefeller Center to watch the annual tree lighting ceremony, while millions more watch on television. And every day until the tree is taken down in January, hundreds of thousands of people visit Rockefeller Center to see the world's most famous tree. When the holiday season is over, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is donated to Habitat for Humanity, a charitable organization that uses lumber for the tree to build homes for families in need. I hope you enjoyed that story, kiddos. I thought it was very magical. So feel free to learn more about Rocky at the link and have a fabulous break.